tense moments today for several people who had to be rescued after they were trapped 250 feet in the air. They got stuck on a water tower. It happened in southwest Houston near South Derry Ashford and Brant Rock. KHOU 11 News reporter Gabe Gutierrez was there as several of those workers were brought down. He joins us live on the scene. Gabe? And the scene is cleared right now, but it was quite a sight earlier this afternoon. Several workers were trapped several hundred feet in the air here at the top of this tower. All while bystanders looked on. A witness captured the explosions on his cell phone. Another nearby security camera shows the jolt from a different angle. When we ran out here to see the, 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 the boom, it, was, it just started doing it. Boom, it kept making a boom. It just kept doing it. Here's how it happened. Five contract workers were pulling communications equipment up this 250-foot water tower. A strong wind gust caused one of their lines to brush a live electrical wire. The water tower became energized. One worker was near the ground, so he was able to jump down. Four others were trapped at the top. The guys on the top, apparently are familiar with what to do in a situation like this. They didn't touch anything metal. They waited for about an hour while Centerpoint crews scrambled to shut off the power. Just after noon, the four workers were able to safely walk down and they were each transported to the hospital. We're told all five workers are in stable condition after surviving the shock of a lifetime. And firefighters say that one worker that was able to jump down, he had some minor burns, and Len, the other workers just had some minor shocks. Hard you, to believe. Yeah, this is really incredible that they survived. You mentioned that many of them were able to walk down. Exactly how did they do that? Well, Len, there's an enclosed ladder in that tower, and once the tower was uh, de-energized, firefighters were able to help each worker down that ladder very slowly, and then they just walked out and were put on stretchers and then transported to the hospital. Yeah, Len? they have some story to tell in the future. Gabe Gutierrez, thank you.